ಓಂ ಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮಿರಂದಸ್ಯಾಘ್ನಂಜನಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮಿಲ ತಸ್ಮೈಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತಸ್ವಾಮಿನೇ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷಾಶೂನ್ಯವಾದೀ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೇತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಸೊ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕಪಿಲ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೀಚ್ಡ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ so we saw because earlier he had described about mixed devotional service practiced in varieties of modes of nature in passion in goodness and then he talked about pure devotional service which is not contaminated by three modes of material nature and the most important symptom he described is that how just by hearing about the qualities the past times of the supreme lord immediately his mind is captured his mind is attracted and the example was given it is just like if there is a flower garden immediately that flower garden because it is saturated with smell of that flowers that immediately captures our sense of smell similarly one whose consciousness is saturated with krishna immediately is able to capture the existence of the supreme lord he is able to perceive the presence of the supreme lord everywhere even though he is present in the material world so that is what we saw and now in this today's verse lord kapila is describing how to differentiate that actually one has still to come to this platform where he is perceiving the supreme lord everywhere how to identify so he is describing here aham sarveshu bhuteshu i am situated in every living entity bhuta atma avasthita sada i am always present as super soul bhutatma in every living entity everywhere tam avagnaya mam but if someone martyaha means mortal man who is going to die one day he is called as martya so if a person he neglects or disregards me as super soul in everyone's heart then even though kurute archa he may be worshiping the supreme lord he may be worshiping my form in the temple in the form of archa vigraha vidambanam that is simply kind of just an imitation that means he has not 
really understood me properly so prabhupa translates i am present in every living entity as the super soul if someone neglects or disregards that super soul everywhere and engages himself in the worship of the deity in the temple that is simply imitation so we should all gradually think about that yes we should advance from this understanding that the supreme lord is not only present in the temple in the form of deities we should also be able to see the form of the lord everywhere in the heart of every living entity so that is also a temple wherever the lord is present that is like a temple so how can one disregard other living entity in that sense so two ways one has to understand one the super soul is present so if the super soul is present in that body that is also a temple so i should not neglect or disregard so i should not neglect or disregard other living entities second one is also aware that the living entity is also present the living entity is also present and he is what he is part and parcel of that supreme lord he is part and parcel of that super soul unfortunately that living entity may be covered at the present moment to the degree of different degrees he is covered he does not understand his relationship with the supreme lord he does not understand that i am part and parcel of the lord but an advanced devotee is able to identify that and he neglects the superficial body understanding that this is simply a dress which one has attained according to the karma so both way an advanced devotee is able to see the presence of the lord as super soul and as a living entity being part and parcel of the supreme lord so in both ways is able to see so this is very essential to understand we may be sometime very proud of our being so many years in devotional service but then we should see whether actually we are advancing these are the symptoms of an advanced devotee so chaitanya charitamrita lord chaitanya describes all these things very beautifully symptoms of advanced devotee symptoms of devotees on the intermediate platform and symptom of devotees on lower platform kanishtha so in chaitanya charitamrita two very important characteristics are described to distinguish an advanced devotee from others one is shraddha how much faith one has got another is rati how much attachment one has got so here also we saw shruti matrena just by hearing if a devotee becomes attracted to the supreme lord then we can understand he is very advanced and if we find that he is god 
प्रौढ़ श्रद्धा वेरी एडवांस्ड एंड डीप फेथ इन कृष्णा देन ही इज वेरी एडवांस्ड एंड हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वन इज गॉट डीप फेथ दोज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब बट ब्रॉडली दीज आर द टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिम्टम्स श्रद्धा एंड रति सो कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी वेरी नाइसली एक्सप्लेन्स दिस श्रद्धावान जन हया भक्ति अधिकारी विदाउट फेथ नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ भक्ति विदाउट फेथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस दैट इज वाई वी से आदौ श्रद्धा बिगिनिंग ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस इज फेथ and this faith is not ordinary faith this is not some blind faith it is very scientific faith but the beginning is faith krishna das kaviraj goswami explains the definition of faith shraddha shabde what is the meaning of this shabda shraddha shraddha shabde vishwas great faith shraddha shabde vishwas sudrid nischaya and great determination great faith what is that shraddha shabde vishwas kahe sudrid nischaya krishna bhakti kaile sarva karma krta haya If I am simply engaged in devotional service of the Lord, then everything else is satisfied. Everything else is completed. I don't have to separately do so many other things. Sudrid nischaya Krishna bhakti kaile sarva karma krta haya. If I am simply engaged in devotional service, all my other activities are fulfilled. This is called shraddha. So, he is saying, shraddha van jana haya bhakti adhikari. Only when a person has developed faith in the supreme Lord in devotional service, then he is bhakti adhikari. then he can advance in devotion he is an eligible candidate for devotional service before that he is not eligible one who has no shraddha he is not eligible to perform devotional service and then he describes uttama madhyama kanishtha shraddha anusari how do you distinguish all our devotees we may say yes everybody is a devotee no doubt anyone who is chanting even once somebody has chanted the holy name he is also to be considered devotee so such a person we may respect in our mind but if he is just like we saw in the earlier uh, examples where lord kapila says if he is not of a good character then we should avoid his company we should respect him in his mind but we should avoid his company so there are gradations in devotional service so uttama madhyama and kanishtha are segregated shraddha anusari according to the shraddha they have so prabhupa translates that faithful devotee is truly eligible candidate for loving service of the lord according to one's faith one is classified as topmost devotee intermediate devotee or inferior devotee and now he describes what is the meaning of uh, shraddha which is praudha mature shraddha ripened shraddha so he says शास्त्रे युक्तौ च निपुण सर्वथा दृढ़ निश्चय प्रौढ़ श्रद्धो अधिकारी 
सभक्त्या उत्तमो मतः शास्त्रे युक्त इन द रिवील्ड स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड इन न्याय लॉजिक च निपुण ही इज वेरी एक्सपर्ट सो दिस इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एन एडवांस डिवोटी ही इज वेरी एक्सपर्ट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रिवील्ड स्क्रिप्चर्स and in presenting logically those conclusions so shastre and yuktav in logic logically presenting all those conclusion and then sarvatha drud nischaya Sarvatha means in all circumstances, in all respect, Dhrudh Nishchaya firmly convinced about devotional service. Completely convinced. Sometimes uh, in our mind, lot of doubts arises. I have been performing for so many years. Am I doing the right thing? so many people are enjoying their life i have given up all that enjoyment i am engaged now chanting the holy name who has seen after passing away what happens isn't it so so many doubts may arise in our mind so that is not a sign of an advanced devotee sarvatha in all circumstances is firmly convinced proud shraddha very deep mature faith adhikariya one who possesses such quality sabhakta uttamo matah he is to be considered as top most devotee so very interesting you can see very expert in understanding and presenting vedic conclusions and prabhupada explains and further krishna das kaviraj goswami explains he can not only he is convinced he is able to convince practically everyone about devotional service krishna shakti vina nahi tara pravartana he can change he can bring about a change in the heart of people then we can understand that yes he is very advanced so prabhupada translates this one who is expert in logic and in understanding the revealed scripture and who always has firm conviction and deep faith that is not blind is to be considered a topmost devotee in devotional service Okay. Then second, he explains about madhyama. So, what is the difference? You can see slight differences there. Yah shastra adishu anipuna ha, shraddhavan satu madhyama ha. He is having full faith in Krishna, in devotional service. but he is not very expert in scriptural arguments he is not able to present the conclusions very well so he is to be considered as madhyama yah shastra adishu in the revealed scriptures one who is not very expert anipunah shraddhavan but he is full of faith satu madhyama he is to be considered as intermediate or madhyama devotee and then third he describes <clears throat> yo bhavet komala shraddhah sa kanishto nighadyate and one who is not at all 
very well versed in the scriptures and thus he has only very komal shraddha so that means actually the more you hear the revealed scripture the more we understand our convictions will become more firm that is why it is very important hearing about krishna is very very important so one whose faith is not very strong who is just beginning should be considered a neophyte devotee and then krishna das kaviraj explains about uh, rati and prema how based on that one is considered to be an advanced or not advanced devotee rati prema taratamye bhakta taratama ekadasha skande tara kariyache lakshana in 11th canto of shrimad bhagavatam based on attraction to krishna and love to krishna devotional service is described as someone who is advanced or not advanced so prabhupa translates this a devotee is considered superlative or superior according to his attachment and love how much attachment he has developed for the lord how much love he has developed for the lord and now chaitanya charitamrita will describe how to identify his attachment and love you see it's very interesting how to identify so he is saying in the 11th canto shrimad bhagavatam following symptoms have been given of attachment and love how sarvabhuteshu yah pashyet bhagavat bhavam atmanah bhutani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavata uttamah who is uttama bhagavata topmost devotee sarvabhuteshu yah pashyet bhagavat bhavam atmanah so very nicely prabhupada explains what is the meaning of this person advanced in devotional service sees within everything the soul of souls the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna this is love just like in uh, what is that brahma samhita that symptom of love is described premanjana churita bhakti vilochanena santah sadeva hridayeshu vilokayanti this is symptom of love everywhere a person is able to see the super soul the supreme lord person advanced in devotional service sees within everything the soul of souls the supreme personality of god shri krishna consequently he always sees the form of the supreme personality of godhead as the cause of all causes and understands that all things are situated in him so he is able to relate everything with krishna just like in today's purport also prabhupada is saying when he sees any living entity let us say ignorant he is able to relate that actually he is also supposed to become krishna conscious so let me give him some krishna consciousness and when he sees everything he sees everything in relation to krishna not for his sense gratification so everything he wants to utilize in service of krishna so every living entity can be engaged everything can be engaged and why that happens this is a symptom of love for krishna it is a symptom of love it is a symptom of attachment to krishna that everything belongs to him everything should be utilized for him 
isn't it? So, and then Madhyama is also described very nicely. Bhagavatam very beautifully described. So, four categories are described. Ishvare, this is first. Tad Adhineshu, persons who have taken to Krishna consciousness, who are under the grace of the Supreme Lord. Tad Adhineshu. Balisheshu, ignorant people. Vishtasu, envious people. So, four categories of people. How uh, Madhyama relates? Uttama, he does not distinguish. He is able to see everything as part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. He has no distinction. Madhyama at least makes a distinction. So, we should at least try to rise to the platform of Madhyama. Artificially, we should not imitate the behavior of Uttama. I don't have to preach because everybody is already engaged in service of Krishna. Uttama Adhikari is able to see that, isn't it? So we should not think so, no need of preaching. So at least we should rise to the platform of Madhyama. Even a Uttama Adhikari comes to the platform of Madhyama to preach Krishna consciousness. Because at Uttama platform, he does not find a necessity to preach. He is seeing himself as most downtrodden, what I can give to others. Everybody else is engaged, I am not engaged. Just like Bhaktivinoda Thakur is saying, that all even Asuras have been delivered, but Bhakti Vinod Thakur is still in this material world. This is a sign of a topmost devotee. He sees even Asuras are delivered, but I am not delivered. So, how one should behave with these four categories? How one should relate to the Supreme Lord? How one should relate to the devotee? How one should relate to ignorant and to envious. So, four ways are described. Prema. Prema is for Ishware. Maitri is for Tad Adhineshu. With the devotees, one should associate, make friendship. Just like we were discussing, Bodhayantaha Parasparam. In association of devotees, we should discuss about the Supreme Lord. So, Maitri. And Prema, Maitri, Kripa. Kripa is for Bali Sheshu, ignorant. And Upeksha is for Dhishtasu. One should neglect those who are envious. One should be uh, kind, merciful to ignorant, one should make friendship with the devotees and one should serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Prabhupada translates, an intermediate devotee, second class devotee shows love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, friendly to all devotees, very merciful to neophyte and ignorant people and intermediate devotee neglects those who are envious of devotional service. And now, Bhagavatam describes about neophyte. Actually, most of us belong to this category. So, same thing, what is described in today's verse is again described. Archayam eva haraye. He is engaged very faithfully in worshipping the deity. And Prabhupada explains this is very, very important for neophyte. Gradually, slowly, by faithfully being engaged in deity worship, slowly he will rise to the platform of intermediate and gradually he will be able to see the presence of the Supreme Lord everywhere. 
he will rise to the topmost platform. So one should not neglect deity worship. Prabhupada explains in the purport very nicely about that. So, Parchayam eva hare poojam ya shraddhaye with lot of shraddha he is worshipping the supreme personality of Godhead in the form of deity. But natad bhakteshu cha anyeshu he does not know how to relate with devotees and with other people in general, with other living entities in general. Ya natad bhakteshu cha anyeshu sa bhaktaha prakrta smritaha He is considered still on material platform. Prakrta means material platform. So his mind is still disturbed with kama, krodha, all these different kinds of things. So very nicely this translation Prabhupada is giving very nicely. Prakrta Bhakta, materialistic devotee does not purposefully study the Shastra and try to understand the actual standard of pure devotional service. Consequently, he does not show proper respect to advanced devotees. He may, however, follow the regulative principles learned from his spiritual master or from his family who worship the deity. He is to be considered on the material platform. Although he is trying to advance in devotional service, such a person is prakarta, neophyte devotee. Or bhakta abhasa, for he is little enlightened by Vaishnava philosophy. This is the translation Prabhupada is giving. And in the purport, Prabhupada mentions how gradually he should rise. This verse is from Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, One who has full love for Supreme Personality of Godhead, who maintains a good friendship with the Lord's devotee, is always callous to those who envy Krishna and Krishna's devotee. Such a person is to be considered intermediate devotee. He becomes a first-class devotee when in the course of advancing in devotional service, he feels an intimate relationship with all living entities, seeing them as part and parcel of the Supreme Person. See? So he feels intimate relationship not only with the Supreme Lord, with every living entity identifying they are all part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So, he is uh, Kripa in whatever way he can enlighten them in Krishna consciousness, he tries to give them. So, we will stop with this. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai